Bitcoin had a nice little pump going on for the day. What are my thoughts on this? What are other analysts' thoughts on this? We're going to get into that. Guys, Bitcoin hit above $25,000 on the day, actually hitting at $25,270 here. And on the price chart itself, it's looking very good from a technical analysis standpoint. Let's hop over here to an article from Cointelegraph first. I'll have a link to this down in the description below. And with that being said, let's go ahead and dive on into the news. Why is Bitcoin price up today? Bitcoin price is up today thanks to favorable macroeconomic data and some conspicuous whale moves. How long might the Bitcoin gains continue? Bitcoin price is up on February 16th as a combination of factors send Bitcoin to six-month highs. Data from Cointelegraph Markets Pro and TradingView shows Bitcoin USD hit $24,895 on the day. That was earlier. It's best since mid-August 2022. Bitcoin bulls are feeling the gains this week as the largest cryptocurrency puts in an impressive return to form after weeks of consolidation. Macroeconomic tailwinds, principally from the United States, have come hand-in-hand -hand with improving sentiment across risk assets, giving optimists the edge. Bitcoin USD gained almost 10% on February 15th and another 2% on February 16th, with altcoins following suit. The gains come in a key week of U.S. macroeconomic data prints, these so far feeding the narrative that inflation is ebbing, an important prerequisite for risk asset performance. Ahead of the Wall Street Open, Cointelegraph takes a look at what is moving crypto markets today. U.S. macro data emboldens Bitcoin bulls. It begins with a consumer price index, or CPI, that mostly conformed to expectations despite a reshuffle in its calculation. CPI is a classic volatility catalyst for stocks and crypto, and despite a slow initial reaction, the reaction time this time ultimately proved no different. Retail sales and manufacturing numbers then further boosted the outlook, with investors providing more, quote, dry powder for risk trades and sending crypto higher. With even more data still to come, the mood is thus all about whether the good news will continue and whether it can sustain the latest innings of Bitcoin's blistering 2023 comeback. After a stampede for 10%, Bitcoin bulls ran into a wall. Keith Allen, co-founder of Monitoring Resource Material Indicator, summarized, Clean rejection on the first test of key weekly moving averages. A hot jobless report could strengthen another attempt. Looking for a partial retrace to deliver another setup to scalp the volatility around the U.S. economic reports. Also referred to the 50-week and 200-week moving averages, which is what I have set up for you guys here in this chart already. The latter providing clean resistance since the middle of last year. Should U.S. unemployment data come in above expectations, it could send a signal to the market that the Fed's restrictive economic policy is working and that a turnaround could soon come sooner rather than later. The Fed lowering interest rates and boosting liquidity would make risk asset trades more appealing. Bitcoin price vies with U.S. dollar strength. In a curious, if temporary, state of affairs, Bitcoin is climbing in tandem with the U.S. dollar. Traditionally negatively correlated, the two assets are both benefiting from the current climate, but for different reasons. As explained by Dr. Jeff Ross, founder and CEO of Vail Shire Capital Management, short-term treasury yields have moved higher, resulting in capital flowing into the U.S. Bitcoin going higher because of increasing worldwide liquidity, he added, referencing the aforementioned liquidity changes. Others are nervous, however, querying how long the out-of-character status quo might continue. Markets are starting to bifurcate, with TradeFi and DXY not supporting the move yesterday. Trader Mark Colin warned in part of a tweet on February 16th. I think the highs are going to get swept, but the question is if this move wipes out both sides first. Bitcoin whales guide support and resistance higher. As Bitcoin begins to rise sharply once more, opportunities to influence the rally were not lost on some of its biggest trades, uh, traders. Whales are constantly in touch with the order book activity, and current conditions have seen bid and ask liquidity moves up and down the order book, taking spot price with it. Expecting rejection at $25,000 and a dump to clear the way for volatility around the 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time jobless report, but they just laddered ask up to 28,000 a tweet explained on the day if they clear 25k they can exploit the upside illiquidity fast if you can identify the game you can mitigate risk an accompanying screenshot of the binance bitcoin 
USD order books show $25,000 strengthening overnight with crucial support also inching higher to $21,600. Corrections are relatively short-lived in an upward trending market. Cointelegraph contributor Michael Van de Pope, meanwhile, argued, Higher time frame levels get one test and then markets start to shoot upward as people overshort the correction, breaking 25K and will continue toward 30 to 35,000 for Bitcoin. All right, so a couple key things here I want to highlight for you. Literally, let's highlight this. $21,600 is what they're looking at for critical support. So based on where we are currently at right now, let's go and do a price range. That is going to be from here down to $21,600. So you're looking at approximately a 9.3% difference, right? So let's get that just a little bit tighter, 21,600. Yeah, 9.44%. Uh, there we go. I actually get that lined up quite well. Between 9 and 10%. That's the key thing to take away from this, right? So that's based on where our current price is as of the time of me recording this video. Keep in mind that it did hit that $25,000 mark. And up there, you're looking at roughly a 14 to 15% difference. And as we also go ahead and delete that, zoom out here just a tad bit the green line here is representing the shorter time frame which is the 50 week moving average and the golden line right here is the 200 moving average so having the short term crossing over that this is definitely looking like a golden cross opportunity that is a very bullish technical indicator and hitting that 25,000 getting rejected does fit in line more of what this was referencing in the article for the earlier part of the day if they can clear 25K, what we saw was, eh, it kind of did, 25,270, but I think a lot of people would look at this and say the 25K was essentially the rejection point. And so with that rejection, the question is, will it be able to make a recovery, hit that 25K, a second retest, right? When we look at these things, we're looking at trend patterns and you're wanting at least two instances. Ideally, you want three. But the fact that it's tested 25K one time so far is good. And if we pass above that personally, what I would be looking at next would be hitting towards the $32,000 price point range. We can see that there is right here a lot of bottom zone support taking place around 28700 Maybe we'll see some resistance there. I would not be surprised if as soon as we tap that, you just see a strong rally push heading back up towards around this $32,000 or $30,000, just a psychological standpoint. But $32,000 from this point, I think this makes a lot more sense um, as a major level of resistance. If we pass $32K, then I think that that opens the floodgates to see another significant strong rally push. Something else to keep in mind, guys, is that we do have the debt ceiling limit. There's a lot of concern over this. And if that does not get passed in the next couple months, then that's going to force the U.S. into default. The first time in U.S. history, we're talking about something that could have absolutely catastrophic, absolutely catastrophic um, effects. And so there's videos out there that you guys can check out that goes into more detail about all of the ramifications. But like in short, we could see potentially interest rates rising even worse than what they have been. We could see that um, relationships with other countries will start to crumble because of the reliance upon the U.S. dollar being so strong isn't really there anymore, right? It now raises that more into question. And then also the stock market could go absolutely bonkers. We could be heading into a recession or a depression more than likely, um, given the magnitude of what something like that is a statement around the world would actually cause. But that's a couple months away. Hopefully, hopefully one of the political parties that held it up from back in January will finally ease their, uh, I don't know what they're even thinking. Hopefully they make the right decision and we can get that lifted and we can move on. So some people may have this rally up towards then and then dump right before it happens out of fear that it's not actually going to pass. Or as soon as it, if it doesn't pass, this whole thing could just end up crashing. I don't know. We got to wait to see how things just progress moving forward with that. Let us know your guys' thoughts down in the comments below. And 
thank you so much to my Patreon supporters. A double shout out thank you to WeLoveSafeMoon.com, Victor Vegas, Safe Moon Oz for being higher level patrons. And thank you to my YouTube members for your support as well. If you guys want to be able to pay for your bills in the real world with your crypto very easily, easily, very seamlessly, you can check out Spritz Finance. I have a video where I cover that down in the description below. And I even pay with a bill with my own crypto. I use BNB and uh, they have a variety of options for you guys. It's super easy to do. And if you use my referral, you get a little bonus out of it too. There you guys go. Thank you so much. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up, like button. God bless, and we will see you in the next episode.